Hello guys, it's Chris here and welcome back to another episode of The Ultimate Team. Now this episode is going to feature a free kick accuracy challenge, okay? We've got a helping hand from my sister whose only purpose is basically to dive and uh, kind of just make the goal look better. But in the meantime, let's get straight into this. Now, in the last episode, I said I didn't want these to be, you know, 17, 18 minutes long anymore. I want to make them a bit shorter so I can get them out a bit more frequently. That last episode finishing up at 17 minutes, five seconds long. But this is how the team was looking after the end of the last episode when we added in four players, if I do remember correctly. Lacazette, Chiellini, Hummels and Lewandowski. And that's obviously we have to play them all. It's part of the series, so that's why we've got some controversial positions in there. Now, as we do at the start of every one of these episodes, the player list has been updated. And uh, quite a popular name in the comments section. The most popular name seemed to be Memphis Depay. Memphis. Didn't say that right, did I? So we've added him into the list, first of all. And then, because of the informs in hero cards and stuff from this team of the week, it was a ridiculous team of the week. We've got Hero Ibra, Hero Aguero, Inform Ozil, Inform Boateng. Now, I know there's probably a new team of the week by the time this will come out. But we'll do that in the next episode. And after last episode, we are on a three-game winning streak. So even though I got disconnected as a nice welcoming present to division nine we did actually win the game so legends very much a possibility okay here we go first game of the episode he has a hundred chemistry and uh a fair few bronzes in there he's got jeff rennie adelaide though so we're in big trouble <laughs> sorry no we're not in trouble this should be a fairly easy one yes all right we're off stayed vel stad velodrome doesn't sound like a fortress does it Get down that line you know how we do it what victor's just been out muscled just the day the world ends or something. Come on, Mesut. Mesut. Lewandowski, come on, mate. Hit it. Come on. Oh, I'm pretty sure the keeper just saved that with his face. Oh, nice play from Pogba and Lewandowski. Oh, look at this. Look at this passing. Oh, he can't deal with it. You know what we do from this situation? Nice passing move, then finish it off with a nice one of... Really? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Noise out. <sighs> well done, mate. I had full faith in you. He's seen, he's seen Marco Royce. I'm so glad that isn't Hummels. <laughs> He's turned him. He's turned one more. Oh, come on. Inside to Lacazette. Finish on your debut. Yes, there we go. Lacazette has managed to finish. Uh, whew, a few breaths after that. My voice was slowly going octave and octave higher. Good. That's good, Royce. Come on. Keep going. One more. Oh, that has got to be a penalty. Damn it. That would have been a nice goal if I'd actually managed to not get scythed down there. Royce thinks he's taking the penalty. Ah, oh, he cracks me up. All right, Lewandowski, you know, because you've had to play CDM the whole game, we'll, we'll give you a penalty. If you miss this, however, though, could be going for an early bath. Okay, then. There's no rules about taking people off once they've started. So, basically, for the entire game, this guy has been on park the bus, and we need to surgically remove his finger from the A button. Go on. Yes, Abarbo. Come on. Come on. Come on. Better pace. Bit of pace. Finish Lacazette. He's failed the test for our club, essentially, in other words. That's, that's what that was. Going to Wobi. Show us what you can do. Yeah. And that's why you're still in the Arsenal you've set up. Um, put it across. Come on. That that wasn't deflected. That was not deflected. Laurent Koscielny. So one goal to nil. We've got a budget of 50k to buy players with. That's not exactly ideal. No compilation goals, so no five-star skillers either. And we're adding in two players. Not quite off to the flyer I was I was hoping for. But uh, let's move into the first challenge of the episode and see how long it took us to complete it. And therefore, who we're adding into the team. So moving into the first challenge of the episode, what we're going to be doing, uh, you can kind of see where the camera is. We've got the centre circle just here. Kelly's in goal back there. I'm kind of stationed. Is that the right word? I'm not sure. We're going to go with this station curling free kicks right footed yeah there's a tractor coming bear with me so what's gonna happen is i'm gonna take free kicks from here and i'm just going to have to score one free kick but it has to hit the gopro in that top corner so that's why it's an accuracy challenge okay and now kelly's in goal because she's you know just going to be trying to make the free kicks look better by diving if she does save one that's going to hit the gopro though it's coming out of her salary and um well, I'm not really paying her anything, so she'll have to pay me money for coming here if that happens. Let's go! We're going to be pretending that there's a wall in there, so obviously I have to sort of curl it over. Like, you know, you, you can't just drill it straight through the metaphorical wall in, in the groin area. So it has to go up and over and, you know, into that top corner. Challenge starts as usual when I kick the first ball, so here we go. Whoa, that wasn't that far away. Good dive. Oh, oh it's actually too cold. Oh. The quadriceps are a bit tight. Go on. Oh. Okay, this is 
the one. Close. Right, sorry, I'll actually try and get someone on target now and I'll stop messing around. Oh, that's so frustrating. Getting closer, probably you wouldn't have got past the wall unless it was a wall full of meat. Such a good free kick, which is not what we're looking for. <laughs> This is not funny anymore. Yes. That was actually a good one over the wall as well. There you go. Only takes you 25 minutes to learn how to take free kicks. You had it here first. So we completed that challenge in 17 minutes and 40 seconds. That is 1060 seconds and then if you you repeat 80 throughout the 1060 seconds, you get to number 20. Who is David Seaman, who we can't get because he's out of our budget. This is getting a bit tedious now. So you've probably got the idea by now. What we have to do now is move to the player who's closest to him in terms of the numbers, backwards or forwards from 20, who is in our kind of budget. And that is Courtois, who's just under 50k. We got a little bit lucky with him, but then we looked down his column to add in the players that we, you know, the extra players that we add in. Uh, and unfortunately, there's only one this time, and uh, it is Santi Cazorla. So Santi and Courtois are the two players running into the team, which is, you know, not 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 bad at all in terms of chemistry, because it's not like this situation get much worse. So need some serious reshuffling on the cards here. But this is what I kind of wanted from this series, when I've got loads of decent players hanging around, you know, the subs bench and stuff. And it's a few different combinations, so it's a bit more of a squad building series than just the classic, they're all the same nation. Right, so this is what we're going to go with. We've just got far too many defenders. We've been a bit unlucky with the kind of players we've had so far. Chemistry would improve seriously if I actually managed to get some legends. But I think it's about time we finally delved into the into the legends groups, you know what I mean? So let's move into the second game. Oh, controller's fallen over. Second game and, uh, you know, cross those fingers because that's how I'm going to be playing this game for three and a half seconds. All right, here we go. Moving into the second game of the episode. He's got a fair few silvers in there. Good chemistry, though. Is that it's kind of B... Is it BBVA? BBVA at the back. Kind of interesting leagues. Not, not one you see very often, but Arsene Wenger, so we'll let him off. Oh, Royce, Royce, stop that right now. That is just filthy. Hit it. Oh, keeper, you can't catch that. That's just un... That's just a form of cyberbullying. Main priority is just is just scoring a lot of goals. So we can actually have the budget. The right budget in this one. Oh, okay, Hummels, just do what you want. Win it. Win it, Santi. Come on, Santi. Win the header. Go with Barbo. Right, come on. No. Keeper, as if you're getting that. Yes! No! Come on! Yeah. <laughs> right, if I wanted a Barbo to score a goal, it would have been that one. Um, anyone feel like tackling? Really? Oh my god. Of course that's the one tackle Ozil makes in his entire life. Oh, that is so rubbish. No, he's gone right. I know he is. Right, Santi, come on. Please up your game. You've done absolutely nothing so far. And I need your help. Come on. And you're in. Turn him. One more. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. What are you waiting for? What a finish, Santi Cazorla. Absolute compilation goal. I think we'll forgive him for now. It was a bit scabby, but... A run from the center, it's never not going to be a compilation goal. So we've definitely got one there. Just uh, actually need to score some goals this time. That's a foul. That is a foul. <laughs> and that's a, that is a yellow card. It's a complete new series, but look who's decided to just travel across. Free kick given against Lewandowski. Run it. Come on, you're in. You're in. You're in. You're in. No. No. Get away from me. Cross it. Come on. Lewandowski. Nice finish. Lovely. Tackle. Come on. Come on. Break. Break. Lewandowski, you're in. You're in again. Right. Santi is open. You've just got to pass that to him. And he's just going to finish with a finesse into the near post. Santi has another goal. This is going well. I like how his defender got back on his line after he noticed the keeper was out of his goal. And then it's just like, you know what, Santi? Just put it here whenever you like. Santi, go. Give it to Royce. That's, uh, is his name Royce? Yes or no? Finish Lewandowski. Oh, what a goal. You know what? His name's not Royce, but, uh, it can be if he wants. Come on, buddy. Put it in. Come on. Ah, oh, Santi was there as well. Oh, that, Ozil, that is awful. Right, Ozil, you are just such a mixture of emotions. Okay, so to recap, we got a compilation in that goal, so that means we can... Compilation in that goal. Compilation in that goal. Compilation in that goal. Compilation in that goal. 
We won that game by four goals, which means we can buy players who are worth up to one million coins. Obviously, it wasn't that likely that Courtois was going to do anything. Santi got two goals and he got an assist as well. So we're adding in four players to the team because, you know, adding on the win and those three things that Santi contributed. So serious potential here. Serious potential for some really good players. So let's move into the second challenge of the episode and find out how long it takes us to do it. And moving into the second challenge of the episode. So what we generally do in these is do right foot, then left footed. But I thought I'd change it up a little bit today because there's not all that much point as a right footed player practicing left footed free kicks. Because you know, if I line up for a left footed Gareth Bale rocket in a Sunday league game, you know, someone's gonna intervene. We're kind of in the center circle right now and I'm gonna be taking it from just in front of the center circle, aiming for the other top right corner. So again, Kelly's in goal on the other side of the goal and the GoPro's up there again, I'm gonna have to hit it and score a free kick and hopefully we'll do it in a, in a bit quicker time than the first one. So let's move into the challenge and see how I do into this top right dustbin. Ooh, would have hit the wall and would have been saved, but you know. Oh my goodness, that's not good. It's too powerful. What can you do? Oh. I like the little shield your face at the end when you realize it's gonna hit the post. Continues. No, 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 we're leaving. We are leaving. Oh. <laughs> I actually want to cry. Let's just leave. I don't deserve to grace this pitch ever again now. Okay, so one of the longest challenges I think I've ever taken part in in Ronaldinho's recruitment or this took me 38 minutes and 45 seconds once me and Kelly eventually managed to finish that one. You can see the goalkeeper efforts were just getting wetter and wetter by the end. But anyway, that was 2,325 seconds, which if you recycle the 80 numbers through that, you know, gives us number five. Oh, number five is Paolo Maldini, who is just over a million coins. So that's a little bit annoying. So we have to then move to the player who's closest to Maldini in terms of the numbers forwards or backwards, who is under one million coins. And that is Peter Schmeichel. Oh my God. I've just realized we've been incredibly lucky on this one. Okay, so we've got Peter Schmeichel as the first player. Then we add in three more, you know, in his same column. So we move down his column. We've got Zanetti, another legendary right back who's just over, under a million as well. And then this is where things get interesting. Move further down that column past all the players we've got. And we've got Hero Aguero, who is under one million coins. And then we've got one more player to add in. So we move to the next column. Look down who can we get first. It is Jens Lehmann. Not a bad four players to be adding into the team, is it? Again... What's that London boss's phrase? Right, so the team just got significantly stronger. We've got that striker Aguero, which looks unbelievably tasty up front. 90 pace, 91 shooting, 90 dribbling. Yes, please. We've somehow managed to get two goalkeepers at the same time again, though. So Jens Lehmann's going to be uh, taking up a slightly unfamiliar position in uh, central midfield. In a 4-3-3. But obviously legends this year get chemistry with everyone. So that is absolutely ideal. We've got Zanetti at right back who has a ridiculous card as well. Just Michael's card obviously is amazing as well. So it's finally good to get some legends into the team. And uh, kind of bump things up a bit. So we've got lots of options. I think this is the best uh, kind of mix of chemistry. That's going to be the episode for today. That's how the team is going to kind of finish off for this episode. Please remember to suggest in the comments another challenge that you'd like to see me do in the next episode. Some sort of football challenge or something like that. Also remember to suggest a player to for us to add into the list. Because obviously we add in a player 
to the list in each episode. Don't suggest an inform though. It's got to be that normal card just to kind of reiterate because any of the players that are already in the list, I'll add in their informs automatically. But most of you already know that. Anyway, if you didn't miss the last episode, please make sure to go check it out right now. Go on. You know you want to. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Leave a like, please, right now if you have enjoyed it and uh, you want to see some more. Subscribe if you're new around here just to reiterate and remind you one more time. And thank you for watching and I shall see you later.